Greetings, and in this video, a British guy takes the US citizenship test. 100 questions, wish me luck, and let's get on with it. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. The Constitution. What does the Constitution do? Make up laws. Sets up the government. Oh. Defines the government. Oh. Protects basic rights of Americans. I was doing so well. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? Some, I don't know, something about freedom? Oh. We, the people. <laughs> oh man, I suck at this. What is an amendment? Um, is it a change or amendment to the Constitution? A change to the Constitution. Yeah. An addition to the Constitution. This is uh, making me sweat. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? <laughs> Wait, dear. Ten, ten commandments? <laughs> I don't know. The Bill, Bill of, rights. of Rights. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? What is one right or freedom of the First Amendment? I don't know. Um, freedom to... It's either vote or religion. What is one right or freedom? Freedom of... It's, I think it's, it's either vote or it's religion. Oh, I've got to pick one. Um, uh, if I had to, I'd say vote. Speech, ah, religion, religion, assembly, press, petition oh, the government. Whoa. How many amendments does the Constitution have? I don't know. Amendments. I don't know. No idea. Um, 37. Oh. 27. Close. What did the Declaration uh, it, of Independence I knew it wouldn't take long, would it? It's like... Bye-bye, Britain. This is about getting rid of the British. <laughs> independence from Great Britain, or the British. Announced our independence from Great Britain. Yeah. Declared our independence from Great Britain. Yeah, okay, we get it. Said that the United States is free from Great Britain. Oh, uh, yeah, we get it. You don't like us. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? I'm going to go back now. Two rights. I'm going to say vote and religion. Freedom. No. Life, oh. liberty, pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of happiness. That was a film, wasn't it? What is freedom of religion? What is freedom of religion? I don't know. Freedom to... You can practice any yeah. religion or not practice a religion. All right, he thought he brought the right glove, but... Oh, no. What is the economic system in the United States? What is the economic system? I don't know. Economic system. I don't know. Dollars? Oh, uh, capitalist. Capitalist economy. Market economy. Sorry, so stupid. What is the rule of law? What is the rule of law? I don't know. Rule of law, something to do with the people. Everyone must follow the law. Leaders must obey the law. Government must obey the law. Everyone no is one law. is above the law. Sorry, guy, I'm not doing very well there. Name one branch or part of the government. One part of the government. President, he's part of the government, isn't he? She. Congress. Yes. Legislative. Back in the game. President. Executive. The courts. Judicial. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Um, split, uh, um, split it up. So if it gets too powerful, you, you, they come in and split it up like a big business. They tend to do that, don't they? I think split it up. Divide it up. Checks oh. and balances. Separation of power. Separation of powers. Back in the game. Who is in charge of the executive branch? I don't know. President. The president. Who makes federal laws? President. Oh. Congress, Senate, and it House of Representatives. would have been too easy, wouldn't it? U.S. or national oh, legislature. Well. Come on, get back on it. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? Two parts of the U.S. Congress. I don't know. I don't understand it all. I don't, really don't understand all the Senate and the Congress and all that. Two parts of the U.S. Congress. I'm going to go President and Vice President. Oh. The Senate and House of Representatives. Man, I really suck at this. How many U.S. Senators are there? Um, 100. 100. Woo, back in the game. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Senator, two years. Six. Six. Oh, no. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? I've got no idea. Answers yeah. will vary. Yeah. Two. District of Columbia residents and residents of U.S. territories no to, should I answer that D.C. or the territory where the applicant lives 
has no U.S. Senators. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? How many voting members? 350. Oh. 435. <laughs> I suck at this. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Four years. Four years. Two. Two. <laughs> I'm thinking of the president. Oh. oh. Name your U.S. representative. Boris Johnson. Answers will vary. Residents uh. of territories with non-voting delegates or resident commissioners may provide the name of that delegate or commissioner. Also acceptable is any statement that the territory has no voting representatives in Congress. Who does a U.S. senator represent? I would say it's state and the people of that state. All people of the state. Okay, I'm bringing it back now. Bringing it back. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Is it down to the size of the state and how many people are living in it? Because of the state's populations. Runner goes to boom. Because they have more people. Because some states have more people. Makes sense. We elect a president for how many years? Now this is what I got confused with earlier. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't take much to confuse me, but this is this is four years. Four has to be four. Yes. In what month do we vote for president? November. November. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Right, I know this is going to change, but at the moment, as it stands today, it's Donald Trump, but thereafter it'll be Biden, Joe Biden. Donald J. Trump. Donald Trump. Trump. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Um, it's that Pence guy, isn't it? I want to say 50 Pence. <laughs> 50 Pence? Yeah, it's that guy with grey hair. Not me. Pence. I don't know what his name is. Front first name. Pence. What do I know? Michael R. Pence. Michael? I've Mike never got that. Pence. I, just said, I thought John Pence. Pence. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? Um, uh, um, vice president. The vice president. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? I've got no idea. No idea. Um, it reminds me of designated survivor. Um, who becomes, um, is it, oh no, it's it, the, the speaker, the guy or the lady in the chair. Is it the speaker? Speaker of representatives or something? Speaker? The speaker <gasps> of the house. <laughs> yes. Who Do I get is the commander back? in chief of the military? President. President. The president. Back in the game. Who signs bills to become laws? President. The president. Who vetoes bills? Uh, president. The president. That was sneaky. What does the president's cabinet do? They advise him. They're his advisors. Advises the president. Oh, I'm coming back in. Would you have me though? What are two cabinet level positions? President and vice president. Secretary of Agriculture. Oh. <laughs> Secretary of Commerce. Secretary of Defense. Secretary of really Education. Oh, vice president. Secretary of Energy. Secretary of Health and Human Services. Secretary of Homeland Security. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Secretary of the Interior. Secretary of Labor. Secretary of State. Secretary of Transportation. Secretary of the Treasury. Secretary of Veterans Affairs. Attorney General. Vice President. What okay. does the judicial branch do? Um, I don't know. What does the judicial branch do? Create um, something to do with laws? Create laws? You know, potential laws to be passed? I don't know. Reviews laws, explains laws, okay. Something to do with laws but resolves disputes, if laws. disagreements, decides if a law goes against the Constitution. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. The Supreme Court. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Um, eight. Ah. Oh. Nine. One out. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? President. Oh no, it's that lady, isn't it? Pelosi. No, not Pelosi. Pelosi. No. John Roberts. <laughs> John like G. Roberts fight. Jr. Well. Mm -mm. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? Um, I don't know. Go to war. Print money. Dec to print money. Declare war. To declare war. To create an army. You don't want war. To make treaties. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? One power of the states. Um, they can pass, they can create laws for their own states, can't they? One power of the states. This it means, yeah, the state, not the people, but the state can create a law because each 
states have different laws. Oh. Provide schooling and education. Provide protection. Oh, my police. Th I thought my theory was there. Provide safety. Fire departments. Give a driver's license. If you're American, would you let me in? Zoning and land use. Probably not. Who is the governor of your state now? I don't know. No idea. Answers know. will vary. District of Columbia residents should answer that D.C. does not have a governor. Ooh, didn't know that. What is the capital of your state? It depends on it, but anyone I know is Washington. Answers DC. will vary. Ah, that's District no, that's the capital of, of America, isn't it? Should answer that D.C. is not a state and does not have a capital. Residents of U.S. territories should name the capital of the territory. Washington, Washington D.C. is the capital of America. What are the Washington, two major DC. political parties in the United States? Okay, that's the um, Republicans and the Democrats. Democratic and Republican. What is the political party of the president now? Okay, so as this film, Donald Trump has only got a couple of days left. He is Republican, and Joe Biden, who will be in, is Democratic, but Republican. Republican Party. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? This is what I was thinking about earlier, Polo, Pelosi. It's a lady, isn't it? Pelosi, um, I don't know. Nancy oh. Pelosi. 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 <sighs> there are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Um, over 18, got to be over 18 to vote, over 18. Citizens 18 and older can vote. You don't have to pay a poll tax to vote. Any citizen can vote. Women and men can vote. A male citizen of any race can vote. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Responsibility, jury service. I'd say voting is a responsibility. Don't you believe you don't have to vote, but jury service and voting, jury service. Serve on a jury. Vote in a federal election. Yeah, we have jury service over here. Name one right only for United States citizens. One right, the right to vote. Vote in a federal vote. election. Run for okay, federal I office. Federal, I didn't say federal election or federal office, but the right to vote. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Two rights, the right to bear arms, We've got the right to vote, haven't we, surely? Freedom of expression, freedom of yeah. speech, freedom of assembly, freedom to petition the, right to the government, arms. freedom of religion, the right to bear arms. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The flag and the United States of America. The United States, the flag. Yeah. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Isn't it to stop your loyalty to your to any other country? Promise you make. You sort of give up your old country and like so if your old country went to war, you couldn't fight for you give up that right and you protect the United States. I don't know why I'd be wrong. Give up loyalty yes. to other countries. Defend yes. the constitution and laws of the United States. Obey the laws of the United States. Serve in the US military if needed. Ah uh, yeah, military, yeah. Think about Serve. That. Do important work for the nation if needed. Be loyal to the United States. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18. 18 and older. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Participate, run for office. I, I would have said vote, but that's that's not participating in the democracy. I would say run for office. Vote as well, vote. yeah. Join a political party. Run for office. Help yeah, vote. with a campaign. Join a civic group. Join a community group. It's Give hard. an elected official your opinion on an issue. Call senators and representatives. Publicly support or oppose an issue or policy. Run for office. Write to a newspaper. Write to a newspaper, okay. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? I would say the financial year, April. Oh. April 15th. Okay, do I get half a point for that? April 15th. When must all men register for the selective service? The hell, what the hell is the selective service? I've got no idea what the selective service is. 18. At age 18, between 18 and 26. Can someone tell me what that means? What is one reason colonists came to America? Is it about freedom or something? Or escape per 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 persecution? Freedom of religion and stuff like that. Freedom. Freedom, political liberty, religious freedom, That's economic religion. opportunity, practice their religion, escape, escape persecution. persecution. That's what I was trying to say a minute ago. <laughs>
Impressive. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans. Indians, sorry. American Indians. Yeah. Native, Native Americans. Americans. Yeah. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Um, Africans. African people. Africans. People from Africa. Why did the colonists fight the British? Knowing the British is probably something to do with taxes and not representing them. If you watched the video previously, I talk about American taxes and British taxes and British, we get taxed really heavily. So I reckon it's taxes or, or lack of representation or something like that. Because of high taxes, <laughs> taxation without representation. <laughs> uh, because uh, the British army stayed in their houses yeah, hoarding quartering because they didn't have self-government and they just don't like the british who wrote the declaration of independence um uh george washington thomas oh. jefferson i'm so sorry oh dear when was the declaration of independence adopted 1776 july 4th <gasps> 1776 pitch I didn't get a date right, but 1776 is pretty impressive. There were 13 original states. Name three. 13 original states. New York, Maine, California. New York, Maine, California. Oh. New Hampshire, right. Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut. Oh, bumped, oh, no, no, New York. New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, oh, Maryland. Did very well. I was all confident then. Virginia, York, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. Sorry, Americans, I mean no disrespect. Like what happened oh, at the yeah. Constitutional Convention? Um, Constitutional Convention. Oh, I don't know. Um, um, what happened at the Constitutional? I don't know. In the Declaration of Independence? No, don't know. I don't know, actually. No idea. The Constitution was written. Constitution. The Founding Fathers wrote the Constitution. What an idiot. When was the Constitution written? 1789. 1787. Oh, I was close. Pretty close. The Federalist Papers two years supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. George Washington. Oh. James <laughs> Madison. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. Oh, no. John Sorry, Jay. Guys. It's embarrassing, Bugles. isn't it? What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? Uh, Benjamin Franklin, famous for freeing the slaves. U.S. diplomat, oldest member of the Constitutional Convention, first postmaster general of the United States, writer of Poor Richard's Almanac, started the first free libraries. I've never got that. Who never. is the father of our country? George Washington. <laughs> George I Washington. These questions have to be right. I keep saying it. One of them's going to be. Who come in. was the first president? George Washington. George Washington. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Is it one of the southern states? Is it Texas? Louisiana? Louisiana. I don't know. Oh! The Louisiana Territory. Louisiana. That was a lucky guess. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. War of 1812, Mexican-American War, Civil War, Spanish-American War. There's been a lot of wars, all of all. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. Civil War. The Civil, the Civil war. war. The war between the states. Name one problem that led to the Civil it's War. It's to do with slavery. Yeah, slavery. Slavery. God, I'd, I'd look right in the head if I got that wrong. Economic reasons, states' rights. Jesus. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed, freed the slaves. Freed the slaves. Emancipation Proclamation. Saved or preserved the Union. Led the United States during the Civil War. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? No idea. I've got no idea. Freed the slaves. Freed slaves in the Confederacy. Freed slaves in the Confederate States. Freed slaves in most southern states. What did Susan B. Anthony do? I don't know. I've never heard of her. Oh. Fought for women's rights. Fought for civil rights. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. Second World War, First World War, Vietnam War. World War I, World War II, Korean War, Vietnam War, Persian Gulf War. Who was president during World War I? I've got no idea. Roosevelt? I don't know. 
Woodrow Wilson, Wilson. Sorry. who was president during the Great Depression and World War II. Roosevelt, I've got to get him right sometime. Franklin no, Roosevelt. Roosevelt, yeah. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japanese, Germans, and I'd say the Italians. Depends which, which part of the time of the war they were on, because they kept switching sides, didn't they? Japan, Germany, yes. and Italy. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? Vietnam. I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. Got World, World War II. II. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Nuclear war. Communism. 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 What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil rights. Civil rights movement. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? He was promoting rights for all American citizens. Fought for civil rights. Worked yeah. for equality. equality for all Americans. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Yeah, it was a terrorist attack on the Twin Towers. Terrorist attack against the United States. Terrorists attacked the United States. Yeah, another shitty thing happened. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. I can't think of one. Um, I'm gonna see it and go, oh my God, how does I look at that? It's, um, when he said Hitachi, then it's a brand. Bloody hell, I Eagle tribe. I got a no, I'm gonna get this wrong. I know. Cherokee, Navajo, Apache. That's what I was trying to think. Apache. And I was Sioux, thinking, no, it's a helicopter. Chippewa, Crow, Choctaw, Pueblo. This is this is hard. Sorry. Apache, Iroquois, Creek. Apache was the one I was thinking. Blackfeet. Of, but then I kept thinking, that's a helicopter. Seminole, Cheyenne, Arawak, Shawnee, Mohegan, Huron, Oneida, Lakota, Crow, Teton. Sorry guys, I'm really Hopi. sucking at this. This is hard. Inuit, name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Mississippi River. Missouri River, Mississippi River. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific. Pacific Ocean. And it's the Atlantic over the other side. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic. Atlantic Ocean. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. Yes. Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, Guam. Name one state that borders Canada. Idaho. Maine. Yes. New Hampshire, Vermont. Oh, only, ju only just, eh? New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Minnesota. Wow. North Dakota. Never said. Montana. Never would have said Pennsylvania. Idaho, Washington, Alaska. Name one state that borders Mexico. Texas. California, yes. Arizona, New Mexico, Texas. Well, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. I don't know how many points I've got. I'll total it up when I'm editing. But... Where is the Statue of Liberty? It's on Liberty Island near New York City. New York Harbor. Yes. Liberty Island. Also acceptable are New Jersey near New York City and ah. on the Hudson River. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Now, is this something to do with 13 colonies? 13 colonies? Because yes. there were 13 original colonies. Because right. the stripes represent the original colonies. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Each star represents a state. How are you guys getting on? Because there is one star for each state. Because each star represents a state. Because there are 50 states. What is the name of the national oh, anthem? Is it Star, Stars and Bangles or something? Star, Bangles, I don't know. The Star Spangled Banner. Oh, okay, I got it wrong, but Star Bangled, I said bangles. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 6th. July oh. 4th. Oops, I got the month right. Name two national U.S. holidays. Independence Day, Labor Day. New Year's Day. It's a Labor Martin Day. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. President's Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Columbus Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas. That's it. I really slept at this. I am so sorry, all the Americans watching this. Please, please, please tell me how you got on. I think you kept the score. I have no idea how I've done, but when I edit it, I'll put it up on the screen and let you know what I've got out of 100. I don't think I've got very many, to be honest. If you like this kind of content, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications on because I post every week. And that just leaves me to say, take care, God bless, see you in the next video.